Next story sounds so unreal that you cannot even make it up. Former U.S. President Donald Trump's wife passed away last month. There was a glitzy funeral service for her where she was remembered as a woman who was adored by many. But guess where she was buried? In a gold-hued coffin at Trump's New Jersey Golf Club. You heard that right. Uh, Trump's former wife was buried in his golf club. I know it sounds weird, but that's where her grave lies, in a plot close to the first tee of the golf course with a rudimentary wreath and an engraved granite stone. So why is she buried there? It's because her grave could help Trump get a tax break. Tax code in New Jersey exempts cemetery land from all taxes. It is exempt from real estate and personal property taxes as well as sales tax, inheritance tax, business tax and income tax. This is a state where land taxes are very high and it looks like Donald Trump may be using his former wife's grave to avoid a few taxes. The main question is, does one grave qualify as a cemetery? In New Jersey, there is no minimum number of graves required for tax breaks. So even one grave could lead to at least three tax breaks. And this is not the first time Donald Trump has tried to turn the club into a cemetery. Plans to do so dating back to 2014. Files with local authorities showing the proposal for a pair of graveyards, one for the family and another with 284 plots for sale. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.